Hey there, fellas. All right, you guys ready for some more crazy shenanigans? Anyway, so Shorty is constantly chilling in our shed, making our eyes sore. We did fit it with some full-range speakers, but it isn't packing a subwoofer. Someone suggested we should finally get one installed, while someone else interjected saying, why install a subwoofer into Shorty when instead we can make some metal subwoofer casing? We all thought it was a pretty cool idea, since that is something you don't really see every day. And so I went to the store to buy a speaker. This is a 15-inch Hannibal speaker right here. I also got an amplifier. And so now it's all a matter of taking some sheet metal, doing some cutting and welding, then we fit the speaker, wire it up, and see what comes out of it. Let's do this. Will a subwoofer play good in metal casing? Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. This isn't a very complicated process. We've finished welding us a box, it's all looking good. Sounds like an empty gas tank. Like it should. We've used some pretty thin sheet, like literally one millimeter thick, which is pretty soft. Now we just have to figure out how to mount the speaker. I say we place it on the side. I'm guessing these vast surfaces should start doing some sort of weird dance. I reckon this 15-inch speaker should be enough to make this thin metal sheet deform and flex, as they say. Right, time to throw it together, get a power supply going, and laugh at the results. Let's do this. Okay, we are ready for action. Time for us to flip this thing on. So we're going to be using a special frequency generator program. We're not looking to play any music. We want to know whether this will work or not. Right, that's nice. What's that? I think you should try the lowest setting. I'm working on it, hold up. Look at it jumping around. Hang on. Let me just... And now we... Let's see what we got here. It's got some pretty healthy movement to it. You know what? Here's where we're at, fellas. We didn't install a port into the casing. It's basically just a fully enclosed box. The speaker isn't getting the air it needs to create some pressure. So yeah, there's that factor. Hopefully it's not gonna rip itself apart. It sure is jumping around. Let me just change the frequency a bit. There we go. This should do it. What? It's barely keeping it together. Yeah, it's moving together with the stand. And there you have it.
Right, so as you can see, we are getting some sort of effect. The metal did start to ever so slightly flex. Not to mention the whole thing started jumping around. Now, since we've made the subwoofer casing out of metal, we're going to be making the port out of metal as well, using this here tube. We've even got a nice cap for it. Why don't we go ahead and weld it on right here? Now we should get some airflow happening. So I'm guessing the whole thing will either start tearing itself apart, or I have no idea what's gonna happen, honest to god. I guess there's only one way to find out. Okay, we're ready for another round of testing. Let's see what we got here. We've got everything installed. I mean the port, of course. Let's see what happens. This thing is toast. Now that seems like a bit much, as in too high. It's gonna come down. Sounds like a plane. Yeah, you're right. Not bad. I'd say that was the best setting.
anymore, so we just had a bit of fun with that metal subwoofer. You saw how that metal thing was jumping around and rattling, but if I'm being completely honest, the sound it makes isn't any good. Without being too hard on it. So we went ahead and fitted it to this here Lada. We've connected it to the head unit that was already in there. Which is sort of okay, I guess. Right, let's see what it sounds like inside a car. Let's do this. Right, what do we got? Wow, it is rattling like crazy. Sorry to all of the car audio guys out there. This isn't very... It isn't the best. The casing itself is deforming and flexing. Nope. A metal subwoofer isn't really a good way to go. A metal subwoofer isn't a great addition to a car. I'd say it's pretty useless, period. The speaker does have some good movement to it. But it isn't affecting the car at all. Then again, one 15-inch speaker doesn't really generate that much pressure on its own. On the other hand, it should still be thumping hard, but that's just not the case. All it's doing is vibrating the metal casing. What's happening back there? Nothing much. What can I say here? This just isn't working. The sound we got was pretty... It was awful. Though we did see some flex on the casing itself. The roof was vibrating slightly. Otherwise, we got nothing. It simply doesn't generate enough pressure to make the car start shaking. Let alone get the roof and windows to flex. Though the roof has got a large surface area, so... It really shouldn't be too hard to get it to flex. Anyway, fellas, don't even... Don't even think about making subwoofer casing out of metal. The simple truth of the matter is that it doesn't work. All it does is rattle. And that's it. Anyway, that's all I have for you. Subscribe, watch us, send in those comments and suggestions, give us a thumbs up. Alright, catch you later.